Hi, I'm Paul from KaleSmoothieRecipes.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make a basic kale breakfast smoothie. Kale is basically a wild cabbage that is incredibly high in nutritional value and eating it is a great way to start out each day. Um, today we're going to combine it with some other fresh healthy ingredients and we're going to make a sweet delicious breakfast smoothie without any refined sugars or artificial ingredients. Let's get started. This is the basic ingredients that you need to make a delicious kale shake. Just identify everything here. We got uh, fresh kale here. We have a cucumber, a banana, we have a lime, we've got some ginger, a pear, and some frozen pineapple chunks. Basically, you only want to use about this much ginger I usually just break off about that much. And what you're gonna do is just um, take the skin off of it by scraping the spoon across it. Works pretty well, usually. And the parts of skin that are harder to get off with the uh, spoon, you can just take a knife to those. So we'll just remove the knots. Ready to go, except for that little bit. Throw it in the blender. I also like to add hemp seeds to a green smoothie because it adds protein. Supposedly, hemp seeds have more protein than meat. Omega fatty acids, protein, and antioxidants. Good for smoothies. So we're gonna put one tablespoon of hemp seeds in there. One heaping helping of hemp seeds. And then we're going to put a banana in there. Okay, we've got some apple juice here. Just going to measure out. This is about half a cup. Now, chop ourselves up a pear. This is the quickest way to get rid of all the tough fiber stuff inside the pear. There we go. And I'm just going to chop all these in half so they're a little more manageable in the blender. If you have a stronger blender, it probably doesn't matter. But this works well for me. Now we're going to chop up a cucumber. And a third or a half of a cucumber is probably all you need. Chop it up in manageable blender chunks. There. Throw it in. Let's see. Put in a little lime juice. Give it a little zing. Sometimes you might it might need a little convincing. What I usually do is just take a wood spoon and kind of reorient the ingredients, get them away from the blade or whatever, stop in progress down there. And we'll try it again. And there we go. That's looking pretty good. Now we're just gonna add kale. You can add the stems or not. I like to take them out and just rip out the stem and tear a few chunks and put them in there. Another way to do this is just to grab the kale like this and then put your fingers like that and just go and it takes it all right off of that stem. Tear it into chunks, blend that. Looking good, nice and smooth and creamy. And now, for sweetness, I'm gonna add in some pineapple chunks. I usually put in half a bag. Put the rest in the freezer. Okay, get it in there. <laughs> All right, now, 
we're just going to pour it in a glass and enjoy drinking it. <laughs>